The exciting thing about this ha has been watching my hometown fully embrace this opportunity. And, and yes, there's been excitement. I wouldn't call it lobbying, but there's certainly been several, many, many people from all facets of our community sharing their thoughts about this with me. Um, I've kept my own personal preference uh, to myself and watched it develop, tried to stay impartial. I have to wear a hat uh, as an IU trustee uh, thinking about what's best for the university. And I, as I said in the meeting, what a wonderful thing it is when my personal preference and my duties coincide. When, when both of our major wonderful hospitals, when the business community, when the labor community, when four institutions come together uh, and all start to sort of favor the downtown, and I know USI had a proposal, but I don't, find, I don't think you'll find that USI is terribly upset here. I think they see this as an opportunity too. So when all of that coincided, it made it pretty easy for me to want to favor downtown too. I go to work every day of my life downtown, so right, right, right. <laughs> I hope that it becomes official this afternoon. I mean, obviously I believe that it will. I think that in my lifetime, um, a kid who in the seventh grade used to take the bus to shop downtown uh, and then have watched during my lifetime shopping move to the, to the suburbs and each mayor successively trying to find a way to make our, vi our downtown viable. No great city in the world uh, has uh, been successful without a viable downtown. In my lifetime, I believe this is the greatest chance that uh, the downtown Evansville has to become the successful, vibrant, integral place that it truly deserves to be.